Nine questions to ask your lender. What should you ask a mortgage lender when you're deciding where to put your business for buying a home? So first of all, you should ask them, are you a broker or do you, are you a direct lender? Who, how, who's going to be handling the money? I'll give you a shortcut on to why you should ask this is you want to deal in most cases with a direct lender. That means that they control the entire transaction. The one who controls the money and the release of the funds for your closing, that's going to be the smoothest, in my professional opinion, that'll be the smoothest, most seamless transaction uh, for you for, for your purchase or your refinance. The second thing you want to ask is who is my contact in this process? Will I be dealing with you, who I'm talking to now, or will I be dealing with somebody else? What are their, the, the third one is, what are their hours of accessibility? How will I interact and ask questions? Is it going to be via text? Is it going to be via email? How will I interact with them? With them? The other thing you want to ask, the fourth thing that you want to ask is, at, do I have access to someone on weekends or after evenings? Like after hours, how do you guys handle any questions that I might have? So you want to make sure that you know what accessibility is. I say that because people buy homes on the weekend. So are they going to be accessible to update a pre-approval letter? What does that look like? It's important to know. The fifth thing, do you have backup? Like when you're not in the office, who am I dealing with on your team? Do you have a team? Do you have an assistant? Is there a working partner that you have? Is there someone else at your company who is my secondary contact? You want to make sure to have that in hand so you're not scrambling for it when there's a dire question that you have to have answered and that person's not available. The sixth question, how long is the pre-approval letter valid with your company? How long is that going to last? And then when that expires, what's the method for updating the letter? Now, the seventh question is, what are the average days to close for your company? What, what, are, what are the average? Uh, 30 days, 45 days, et cetera, et cetera. The eighth question is, how do I lock the rate with you? Like once we talk with the terms, do I lock the rate now? Am I locked in for 90 days? Do I have to wait until I get a property? How would I lock the interest rate? Is it verbal? Do you have to email? Do I have to pay a fee? How would I lock the interest rate when I'm ready? The ninth question is, where is your underwriting? Like, is it in-house? Are they employees of the company? Or do you send my information to some outside source outside of your company so that everything can be approved? And how long does that take? Like, once I submit my documents, when do I go to underwriting? Is it now in the pre-approval? Or is it later during the process? Uh, those are the nine basic questions to ask, in my professional opinion, in my years of doing this, that can help you have a feel for who, how, what you're doing business with. If you have any comments, any questions at all, comment down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Talk to your local lender. Talk to you soon.